out we are now in the Chambly Canal and you see this is a popular place for bikers and pedestrians and there's a fisherman over here and joggers and the rapids uh, for the Richo River are off to our right. We are passing them in this canal. We'll be in this canal for some time. Uh, we've been in, in nine locks and we've been through only one. So this is uh, this is Canada. This is the uh, canal, the Chambly Canal, and it's not very deep, six feet. So uh, not a lot of room to spare. And you see there markers, and this marker does okay in this canal, but it's also the same kind of marker they use in the big rivers. So they uh, don't spend too much money on metal metal markers. But uh, here we are, it's very pretty. The Chambly Canal uh, in Quebec. This is the uh, bread basket of Canada, or part of it, and this is where they have their dairies and their wine. They make wine up here. Uh, very pretty area. Uh, still on the Chambly Canal and will be on the Chambly Canal uh, for today and tomorrow. So uh, a, lot, a lot of time here. I hope we can get some of their good cheese. That's what I'm looking for. And their wine. So. Uh, here we are, Chambly Canal, continuing our, our uh, march onward and northward. So we're coming up on another swing bridge, and they've been very helpful here. When you see the red light start blinking like that, it means they've already started getting ready, and you just turned green if you saw that. That means they're opening the bridge, and we'll be able to pass through. So we appreciate this pretty little setting here, and the bridge uh, is giving us the green light, but I don't see it opening. Oh yes, it is. It's going to be kind of narrow, like most of them, but we'll make it through. And there it is, turning nicely now. We'll just scoot on through. We haven't had to stop for these bridges except the first one, so it's been very nice. So what we have here are cyclists all along. We've had cyclists much of the way as we continue up. We don't have too much more, uh, about four more locks, something like that. But, uh, very pretty, very quiet, but but it is inhabited. We have a lot of people living around here, and you see signs of them uh, on both sides of the canal much of the time. So well, here we are coming up to our next low swing bridge, so i got to get back to work. And this is a bird's eye view of the locking gates you see here. Uh, that are manually operated, uh, the lock operators, many of whom are women, uh, work these locks and these mechanisms by hand, just as they've done for hundreds of years, uh, to lock you through and make this steep decline uh, down, down into the uh, to the nice basin and ultimately to the St. Lawrence. Beautiful setting, early in the morning obviously, and a beautiful day. And then they secure something here. And we're ready to go wooden lots Sweetgrass has three more lots here the historic Chambly uh, canals which 
you see here and then uh, we'll go across the street and I'll show you the uh, three locks that we still have to negotiate here before we get down into lovely Chambly Basin of the Richelieu River so this is lock one and then if you look a little further down you'll see lock two and then beyond that is lock three so these locks are stepping stones so to speak right down to the beautiful uh, basin it's called uh, and you see the flag you see the lock house uh, three straight uh, locks down and then you're in this beautiful basin of the Richelieu and then not that much further well about 30 more miles and you're in the St. Lawrence so we have three locks to do today here and um, and we'll be on our way <laughs>